I'm taking a quarter inch flat cut bit, straight cut bit, and routing in the clock mechanism. So the spindle sticks out far enough on the clock face side to attach it. And I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time until we're right. The threads are almost showing, so I gotta make one more cut, maybe two. Okay, we've got just enough thread showing that we can tighten this mechanism to the clock face. Okay, got our brass washer, brass nut, which will thread onto the shaft out of the little clock mechanism. And on the back side is a rubber washer that keeps the mechanism from spinning. So we'll tighten this down and it'll hold the mechanism and the shaft, everything into place. And it's beautiful. All right, we take the hour hand, put it on the shaft, goes on first, and it has a lock in there. And then the minute hand, and a little brass threaded cap. There we go. Okay, I've removed the mechanism. That was a test fit. And now uh, this clock has been sanded up to a thousand grit. And we're using Odie's oil to finish the clock. And the reason this is going to work so well is we can sand to a thousand grit. The Odie's bonds molecularly to the wood and it'll have a nice sheen to it so i'm going to i've already applied it to the back and now we're going to take a white scotch brite pad and rub this odie's oil in There we go, 10, 15 minutes. I'll wipe it off with the dry rag and we'll show you the sheen. All right, I've buffed off and making sure all the excess Odie's oil's off. And one thing you do is you can wipe it and as long as your fingers aren't leaving any tracks, you've got it all off and this is the sheen from sanding to a thousand grit and beautiful Shenandoah Valley walnut. All right, we put the batteries in the clock, uh, attached the hour hand and minute hand, and we have a operational beautiful clock.